at first in the form of Alex Brown. She's five of eight. Long balls, they'll lay down some more buns. And Combi will let it roll foul. The Day one is consistently hit over 300, and there's a look at. And she's called out on strikes as Jordy Sharp. And here's one of the few power hitters in this line. Combi picks it up, won't throw it. Now the runner headed over to third with the bag unoccupied, and she's safe. A lot of pressure on the opposing defense. Yeah. First right-handed hitter we'll see from North Carolina. And there's a first pitch strike going one. Back as a starter this year, and like you said, Paul, Dim on her student athletes. Center field base hit. They should score two runs as Chief picks it up from center. The throw, not in time. It's a two-run single. It's bag for this team offensively. So runs of the season. Here's Skylar Brook. Browns this one to second as Brown will clean up Destiny Middleton. First pitch from Chartran upstairs. One ball, no strikes. Brooks over at first. All season. And Shipley makes the catch at short for the final out. Tar Heels played a pair. Basically become a reliable arm in the circle for 2-0 from Bacchus. And Cumby. Now the 3-0 count defensively. And Cumby draws a walk without lifting the bat off her shoulder. So she'll take her base. But uh, she can put some pop in it. Ten doubles to last season. One strike offering up high. That evens the count at one ball and one. Con and home runs and extra base hits. One of the top teams. Limp in the outfield. 2-1. Towards short. Backhand stop by Brown. Play to second. And she gets the lead runner out there. Nice. Potentially, Cumbie might have been safe, but ball will stand and for 12 hits. Fouls off a 2 0 pitch. Two balls and a strike to LaGrama. Fans taking advantage of it. This is as good a crowd as we've yeah. seen in a while. Payoff pitch to LaGrama upstairs, ball four. So Bacchus issues her second walk of the inning. Two on. And the game, but uh, this is a bit different than what we've seen. Who moved to that position about six weeks ago. It was over in third. 0-1 on the way. That evens the count at one. Delivers another 3-2. Swain and a miss. She struck her out. So Bacchus. That's the benefit of seeing as many pitches as Shipley did. 1-0 pitch. In their first strike. And the count even at one and one to Blake Batten. Dave. The pitch. This one's hitting the right field, but right at a leaping Brooks, who makes the catch for. You know, she didn't show that times in that first inning. There's a strike as Myrtle couldn't hold weekend. UNCG did not play over the weekend. Actually had it off. Fires in the payoff pitch. Round ball through the circle. Rolls into center for a hit. So we'll see a pinch runner. More runs here in the second as the bunt is dropped. It goes off of the batter. But it was foul first. <laughs> Lay down a bunt. Move a bat. Move the base runner over. There's no doubt about that. And she's called out on strikes as Jordy Chartrand picks up her second. Some way just to move the base runner over to her cheek. To her right makes the catch. That's the second out. Run. Both runs come. Chartrand deals a 2-1. Bunch shown. That's ball three. Her 3-1. It's ball four. That's the first walk. Stubbs falls behind 0-2. 1-2. Torrey third base side, and there's the catch made by Maxwell for the final out. Her line as we head to the home half of the sack zone, but that's uncharacteristic. Swings through a 2-0 pitch, 2-1. That's a good pitch right there. Here's the 2-2. Got her looking. Second strikeout for Lowe. Marcus worked that at bat. She was working up in the zone. Grace Lofton. He's a third base from Middleton, throws across the diamond in time. A couple of quick outs here in the second. Is three of her last six at the plate. Comes on team from the ACC. Here's a called strike. Harwood awaiting this 2-2. Two -two. Here's another 3-2 to Harwood. And she takes for ball four. Bacchus has given up. That is tied for the motion. Clemson enjoying a nice season. So two strike pitch. To the right fielder Brooks, and she makes the catch for the final out. Tier in Greensboro, North Carolina leads. On before? I have not. Neither I have no. Payoff pitch. Ball four. 
Second walk. Strikeout. You know, it, it's pretty clear. And Carolina not the only team. Lasale try to field. Lofton there makes the catch. Right. Well, Lasale field for the first out. And it is one of the rare power hitter fielder's choice in her first at bat. This one to the shortstop. Shipley goes to the lead runner at second. Toss for two. Skylar Brooks aboard for this Destiny Middleton. Shows butt. Runner goes. The throw over to second. Not in time. She was almost caught stealing for the first time on that play. First and tie. Now she's ahead in the count, 3-0. 3-1 on the way. The infield, and there's Brown to put it away in front of the second base back for the final out. So Chartrand deals her second. First pitch to Cumby. Runs inside for a ball, 1-0. Beautiful weather. You have a... 2-2, two -two, a swing and a miss. At strikeout number three for Lily Backus. She retires leadoff batter okay. in the bottom of the throwing a strike. 1-1. One, one. Hit weakly towards second. Settlemeyer underhands with the glove flip. Nice play by Settlemeyer to Lisette. Love and then toss with your hand. So if you could do it. Here's the two-strike pitch. Circle. Backus scoops it up, throws to first, and she retires the side in order. Hill. Competitive for these over these last handful of seasons. Backing up his cheek, it's out of here. It's with their second home run of the season. And need. How about that celebration at the end? Yeah. I think the softball team. And the one two on the way. Fouled off by Emerling. Count remains one and two. Carolina and Duke and Virginia Tech. And you know, they battled to a team that can, can hang with the best of them. Love of Shipley at short for the out. That's a tough little play. For the Spartan shortstop. Just get so much action in the growth of the sport in this region. And as we just hit on, Duke, really good this season. Six wins in the circle and 11 appearances. And she has been among the finalists for the nickname Ambassadors. Sentinel Division I athletic program. Two, hitting the air to right field, backing up his bat, and it makes it 4 nothing. In the fourth, a couple of home runs. And uh, that time, somebody who can give you a lot of run. Last two games. Spells 1-0. Fouled off. One ball and one strike to Bree Stubbs. Pitching staff that entered today with a 3.09 ER. This nine-game win streak. Lofton catches it in front of the wall for the final out. But the Tar Heels, the new score, North Carolina 4 and UNCG conference teams. Right now, North Carolina finds themselves ahead. 1-2 to Jesse to third. Middleton throws to first. Nice play for Middleton as she steps. Take a look at Salem Ward warming up. Freshman from now delivers the 1-1. One -one. Need in front of the warning track makes the catch. And Batten is retired for the second out. The 2-0. Fouled off to the screen. Two balls and a strike to Mason Brown. That pitch for 2 2, swing and a miss for strikeout number four. And she retires the side in order for the second inning in a row. Selmeyer drops a bunt foul and the count 0 and 1 to the target coming lead off the third. 0 1 on the way. For field that'll drop in for a hit, roll towards the wall. Selmeyer heading to second as it's picked up by Cheek in the outfield. Tar Heels have done a good job of getting that lead off. One of the second baseman. There's Brown on a couple of hops who tosses to first. For the pick up a bat is going to be. Spell fires the 1-1. One -one. Check swing at a pitch in the dirt. The appeal to first. And Wiesner certainly held up. That's ball. And the payoff pitch from Spell. It's right field and. Batten makes the catch. Tagging up from third is Settlemeyer. She's going to slide in. If you're Wiesner, you have one job. Get Settlemeyer home. Settlemeyer's speed. Just enough distance to score the One of the middle tip. Left field. Lofton retired. But UNC adds another run. Four scoreless innings. Race. Payoff pitch to Lofton. And it's off the plate. Ball four. Ball. First pitch to Harwood he is low for a ball. One ball, no strikes to Har here in the fifth. Add up to a 5 no 
2-2 coming. Swain and a miss. She struck her out. Five strikeouts for Lily Backus. First down. Strikeouts have actually followed walks. And that's the it's third and snagged by Middleton on the backhand. They call the hot corner for a reason. And Middleton with the re third. 1-1. One, one. Field backing up as Brooks on the run. It's out of here. Still two run homer and UNCG's on the board. Paul, it's only fitting that UNCG picks up its first. Well, back is. First pitch, it's booted by Lasea and Maxwell is safe. He doesn't spread. They give up the home run. Tying run on deck. That's Jesse Shipley. Lagrama at the get out of the inning with the lead intact. One, two. Rolls to the wall. They're going to send Maxwell around third. Here's the throw to the infield. It's cut off. We have seen in the last five or so. A one. The Sneed in front of the track makes the catch and the inning is over. Head to the sixth inning against UNCG Spartans. The Shark trans exit from the ball game. 1 0. Field not deep. Cheek is called off by Lofton, and the left fielder makes the catch for the first down. Count is 2 and 2. A field. There's Lofton. She makes the grab to retire Emerly. And that's place for Carson Sneed in the ninth spot. The left field. Guess who? It's Lofton <laughs> who makes the catch. As the Tar Heels are retired, UNC 5, UNCG 3. Game in left field as she was lifted for a pinch hitter from Gabby Katz. Getting here for the Spartans, looking to Bill Lefty Backus. Right field for a hit. Brooks, the leadoff single. Sparks for the second inning. Mm -hmm. There's Mason Brown at the plate. First baseman, there's Jones to pick it up and run over the bag to record. The first there is. 2-2 on the way. Right side of the infield, and Jones diving to the bag. She was just able to get there. Nice play by Kiana Jones. 60 feet away from making this a one-run ball game. 1-1. One, one. Pulled in right at Brooks, who makes the catch for the final out. So Batten with the lead. 1-1 one, one on the way. Pops up the bunt, and it's caught by Cumby, the catcher, for the out. He was a terrific third baseman for the White. Here's the 2-2 from the south center field. That'll drop in for a hit. Three stubs aboard for a first time with a one-out single. Settlemeyer at 40. 1-2. Swing and a miss. Struck her out as Maddie Spell records her first. Now re-enters the ball game. One onward. Often way, way out of here. Here's his sixth home run of the season, and North Carolina is up. Heels entered today with 19 home runs in the season. I think that's the first time today that we've seen a slapper. Glenn uh, CG Soccer Stadium. Up Shipley with a nice grab to her left to retire the side. And the Tar Heels at Rio on the way. It's ball four, so Jaden Cheek draws a lead off wall. The home runs. Remember, last season was her right center field. Takes the first pitch low, 1 0, so it's 5. It'll give her time to get settled and imagine. 2 2 delivery. Hayden Cheek stops at second. Cumby and Cheek. In short amount of time, they're nervous of risking that base runner coming home. 2 2. Backing up a Snape. Looks up, it's out of here. Samantha Lacrama. Back performance when her team needed her most. After these words, as you said, the winning run here in the seventh. Dark fires the one-one. The first baseman will say who grabs it on the fly, and the side is retired. So we'll head to X seventh inning. She's the reason we head to an eighth inning. One-one on the way. Ball to short. Shipley throws to first. There's out number one. Here is Lexi Godwin. Will step up to replace. Took the lead in the first until they lost in the pit. Is loft and lines it up in front of the track and makes the catch for the second out. And now we'll see Carson Sneed re enter. We go to the 13th inning. 18 years. Everlane breaks the tie in the 13th inning with a lead off home the center field fence. Everlane greeted by her jubilant. Hunt in the top of the 13th. It was bound to happen. UNCG dugout, they're optimistic. 
Spartans. The two strike pitch. But as Brooks dives, makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Probably to the wall, and we're tied right now. Instead, her highlight reel catch. G's nine game win streak. Well, it was a fun call with you, buddy. Can't wait to do it again, ESPN. My name is Paul Roper, along with John.